welcome all today i am going to discuss about production of ethanol 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 is a universal solvent it is the most common solvent and raw material it is used in the laboratories and chemical industry we can produce ethanol by microbial fermentation process different microorganisms are used for the production process which include yeast mucus and bacteria yeast species include saccharomyces cerevisiae saccharomyces calsbergensis candida chloromyces etc mainly saccharomyces is used okay there are two types of saccharomyces species they vary in morphological and biochemical properties first one saccharomyces cerevisiae and second one saccharomyces calsbergensis here saccharomyces cerevisiae also called top fermenter yeast okay once more top fermenter yeast that is these are active at the top of a fermenter liquid they form a layer or ring along the walls of fermenter then the second one saccharomyces calsbergensis it is also called bottom fermenter yeast that is it develop only at the bottom of a fermenter okay that is they are whirled up in the liquid and leads to the carbon dioxide evolution the microorganism used must have high tolerance for the alcohol and it must grow vigorously and produces a large quantity of the alcohol and also it should possess uniform and stable biochemical properties the choice of microorganism for the production of ethanol depend upon the type of raw material used if we uses starchy material or molasses as the media then the organism saccharomyces cerevisiae used okay if the media contains whey or sulfite waste liquor then candida is used okay so the selection of microorganism depend upon the raw material used in the fermentation process next we can discuss about preparation of the inoculum and raw materials used the percentage of inoculum required for the production is 8 to 10 percentage and also it require aeration and agitation the optimum ph required for the fermentation process is 4.8 to 5 and the temperature 28 to 30 degree celsius three types of substrates are used for the ethanol production first one saccharide material second one starchy material and third one cellulosic material okay first one saccharide material that is juice from sugar cane or molasses or sugar beet okay these are the examples for the saccharide material we can also be used 
ஓகே செகண்ட் ஒன் ஸ்டார்ச்சி மெட்டீரியல் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பொட்டாட்டோ ஸ்டார்ச் கார்ன் ஸ்டார்ச் வீட் எக்ஸெட்ரா இஃப் வி யூஸ் ஸ்டார்ச் கண்டெய்னிங் சப்ஸ்ட்ரேட் ஆஸ் தி மீடியா then the starch must be hydrolyzed as yeast does not contain amylases then the third one cellulosic material that is waste products from wood or processed wood example sulfite waste liquor sulfite waste liquor means a waste left after the production of paper it contains hexose as well as pentose sugar and this hexose sugar can be microbially easily converted okay so the sulfide waste liquor is the waste product from the paper industry okay this can be used as a raw material in the production process of ethanol let's move on to preparation of the fermentation medium some material used in the media require pre treatment example starchy material starchy material is subjected to saccharification where starch get hydrolyzed starch is a polysaccharide that undergo hydrolysis and forms fermentable sugars like maltose and glucose the optimum sugar concentration ranges from 10 to 18 percentage here the nitrogen source is the ammonium sulfate pH of the medium is adjusted at 4.8 to 5. Okay. Then carbon source. The sugar serve as the carbon source. Sugar concentration in the range of 10 to 18 percentage. cane molasses contain sucrose it is also a carbon source then the nitrogen source is the ammonium sulfate the fermentation does not require the addition of growth factors because the raw material used st- satisfy the growth factor requirement okay the optimum ph is 4.8 to 5 the increase in ph causes contamination and decrease in ph inhibit the yield of ethanol so we must maintain the ph 4.8 to 5 and the temperature requirement is about 70 degree to 80 degree fahrenheit as there is the heat evolution during the fermentation process the temperature increases and this increase can be controlled by cooling coils high temperature favor the growth of the bacteria and causes the loss of ethanol then the time requirement The fermentation starts within few hours after the yeast addition and the fermentation can be completed within 72 hours. Ethanol is produced by continuous fermentation process. So large fermenters are used for the continuous manufacturing of the ethanol. after the fermentation process the culture medium or supernatant is processed for recovery of ethanol 
Ethanol can also be produced by batch fermentation. Next, we can discuss about recovery. Ethanol can be recovered up to 95% by successive distillation process. Okay. First step in the recovery process is the settling. Settling for a few hours. Then it is distilled in an analyzer. Then passes through the rectifier column. So it forms rectified spirit. That is ethanol. Okay. Here you can see a picture that depicts the production process of ethanol. Okay. First, we select the biomass or the suitable media for the production. Then the biomass is pre-treated. Okay. That is, if we use corn as the media, then first we grind the corn, then mashing and cooking the corn. Finally, it is added into the fermenter for the fermentation process. Okay. If we use sugar cane or sugar beet as the media, then first the extraction of sugar, then add it to the fermenter. After the addition of the media, we add yeast, that is the inoculum. Okay. So the yeast carry out the glucose fermentation and produces ethanol. This ethanol or the beer can be recovered by distillation process there are two steps in the distillation process primary distillation and secondary distillation okay finally we get 100 percentage ethanol Next is the biochemistry of the ethanol production. Okay. Several steps are involved in the conversion of starch into ethanol. Okay. That is first step. Glucose undergo glycolysis and produces pyruvate. Then pyruvate decarboxylase with thiamine pyrophosphate converts the pyruvate into acetaldehyde and carbon dioxide okay then it is acted upon by another enzyme that is alcohol dehydrogenase and produces ethanol so this is about ethanol production i hope you understood this topic thank you thank you